Hey guys, alright, so today's tutorial is going to be featuring this look. Um, I decided to get a little edgy today, in spite of my daughter always oh, in my makeup. I actually woke up this morning and was inspired by my hair <laughs> and uh, earrings as well. I am looking to be one of the makeup artists for the Natural Hair Show this year, so hopefully God's willing, everything works out, and I'll be one of the makeup artists doing uh, makeup for the models for one of the natural hairstylists that are going to be in the uh, natural hair show. Just trying to um, show different styles that I have, different techniques and looks that I have um, that I really don't put on YouTube as much. Hopefully, I don't freak you guys out too much. This is just me showing you guys a different um, side of my makeup techniques and not just one lane so we're not going to be one-minded here hopefully you guys like it um and you stay for the tutorial and i will see you guys in the next video bye okay guys so i'm going to start with applying my concealer in the shade tan by nyx next i'm going to apply my eyeshadow base and this is maybelline's color tattoo in the shade tenacious teal I'm just going to keep packing that color on until I get the desired color payoff that I want. So next I'm going to apply my NYX eyeshadow base color in the crease. And this is also the color um, Maybelline Color Tattoo shadow base. And it's in the shade Electric Blue. So it's a darker blue color. Next for my 120 palette, I'm going to take this pretty teal blue color here. And I'm going to put that on my lid with a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to take a deeper, darker blue with a e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to put that in my outer V and drag that along inside my crease. From that same palette, I'm going to take my brow bone color, and this is just a eyeshadow that's pretty much the same color as my skin. It does have um, a lot of shimmer in it, so it's going to give me the perfect highlight that I want for that area. Next, I'm going to take this purpley bluish color, and with a blending brush, I'm going to blend out the darker blue and also my brow bone color and make sure that they transition to one another really good. Now I'm just cleaning up underneath my eyes and also making that outer edge very sharp. So I'm just dragging the white from the bottom of my eye up towards my eyebrow. And that's just going to give you that sharp edge. Underneath my eye, I'm going to apply a eyeshadow base by NYX and this is in white. Um, you actually can use the white base for the entire eye look. It's just me playing in my makeup and this is how I learned how to use all of my products, just by using them. Now I'm going to take this shimmery purple here, and with the smudger brush, I'm going to apply that on top of the white base. And this is going to be the color underneath our lower lash line. Now for the face, um, my foundation, I'm using one of Black Opal's Cream Foundation Sticks. And the shade that I'm using, I'm actually using Beautiful Bronze, which is actually too red for me. Um, it has a little bit more of a red undertone that I would like. But um, I want to blend it out a little bit with um, Truly Topaz, just to even out the color a little bit. And then it's going to blend into my skin really, really good towards the end. Um, the shade that I normally use is in Nutmeg, which it has been devoured by my little girl. So, I have to go buy another one. Um, but till then, mixing these two foundation sticks works pretty good. Now I'm going to highlight, and I like to use Heavenly Honey which is also a black opal foundation stick and I like to apply that underneath my eyes 
um, down the middle of my nose, my cupid's arrow, um, right underneath in the center of my chin, and also the little center of my forehead. Everywhere where I want light to hit is where I apply this lighter foundation um, so that it is a highlighting. It highlights the center of my face. And I'm just going to blend that out with the same sponge but using the pointed tip. And I like to squeeze it when I need to get into the um, little corners and um, cracks and make sure that it's blended really, really well. Next, we're going to take a setting powder, and this is by MAC in the shade Invisible. And it's just a uh, setting powder that's going to help the foundation set without creasing. I'm just going to pack that on and just let it sit while I do the rest of my face. Yeah, if you look like this, then you're doing it actually right. <laughs> now I'm going to contour and I'm using this, uh, again, another black opal foundation stick. And this is in the shade Suede Mocha. As you can see, it's a really, really dark and deep foundation. Um, shade so I like to use this contour with and I'm just gonna apply this in the areas that I want to be darkened or that I want to cast a shadow to give my face some dimension so um, you'll see me placing it in areas where I want the darkness to be I'm also gonna put some on a, along the sides of my nose And now I'm just going to use a e.l.f. blush brush to blend that out a little bit. I don't want to blend too much because I kind of want it to be a hard edge. So I think I blend it actually more than I want it to. I'm going to brush away the powder using a uh, stipple brush. And you can see that it really set into that lighter foundation really good. And it's giving me the nice highlight that I wanted. Now I'm going to go and put on a blush. And this is by e.l.f. And it's in Candid Curl. Nice peachy coral color with some gold reflex under um, inside of it. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek and then blending it outward towards the contour color. Now I'm going to take this shimmery purple here and with Max Mega Lip Lage or Lip Gel. I can't even, I never can pronounce that thing, but it's a, a lavender lip gloss. And I'm just going to mix those two shadows together and it's going to give me a really nice pearly uh, metallic looking lip. Um, I really want to go for a different, different lip color, something just like bam out there. And just mixing this, what I thought would give it a nice little different look. So this is what it ended up looking like. Now I'm going back with a black opal lip gloss and this is in the shade Octane and this is one of their color splurge uh, lip glosses that they just came out with. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed something different, something funky and fresh on the channel. So stay tuned for more videos and if you like this, thumbs up. If you have any requests, you can also post those below in the comment section. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. Bye.